Well, I was absolutely delighted. It was just really nice to actually get the news about the nomination as we got towards the end of 2014. The most important thing I've been able to do over the last few years is to, you know, lead the Magnox business that I've been responsible for in the right kind of way. Um, we want a safe and successful uh, industry. We want an industry that creates opportunity for young people. We want an industry that provides interesting work for young people and gives them um, a workplace in which they can develop and grow. And I like to think from the feedback that I've had that myself and the team who've been around me in Magnox have done a pretty good job in actually delivering that formula over the last few years. I think one of the big challenges is how we unite as an industry. I think personally it's really important that everybody coordinates and works through organisations like the Nuclear Skills Academy in order for us to do this in a really coordinated way. We started to see young people see careers in engineering and science as being attractive, as being worthwhile and as making a real contribution um, to our society and that's got to be a good thing and an important thing. So career highlights so far, one was receiving the uh, Rosper Sir George Earl Trophy for Magnox being the top performing company in the UK. I guess the second thing was uh, being awarded an MBE in the, in the New Year's Honours list. That was also a tremendously proud moment for me.